Welcome to the lesson of the week from thisisclassicalguitar.com and today I'm looking at um, an exercise from Scott Tennant's Pumping Nylon and it's um, one of the finger independence exercises with a little bit of a stretch too, it's called the spider and it's kind of an extension on some other exercises. So I've done a couple of other videos and from the book so if you want to buy the book I have a link to it in under the YouTube info section or on the website. Um, the spider's kind of an extension on some other exercises. So I've done two other videos. One of them is a finger independence exercise uh, or video on some of the exercises for finger independence and where you just learn to fix fingers on the guitar and then move individual fingers around in order to learn independence and dexterity and relaxation and accuracy, all those great things. Um, and it expands in two fingered exercises as well. And then there's another one that you might want to do after that, O'Dare's Favorite Drill. And then this one, the spider, is just a little bit trickier, so um, you might want to do those other ones first, and when you're feeling confident with those, you can dive into the spider. And it's called the spider just um, humorously because as you do the exercise, it looks a little bit like, I guess, a spider crawling up the neck. This is my left hand there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the, the camera and just get a little bit closer to my left hand so you can really see it, and then um, and then I'll go I'll play through the exercise for you. Okay, so let's just walk through the exercise really quickly, and then um, I'll give you some tips on on left hand uh, alignment and position. First, start off nice and slow, being very careful with your placements. Sorry. And then later on, when you're feeling more confident, you can work on a little bit of speed with it. tip is that do not overextend the wrist out this way. Lots of students in order to accomplish the reach they extend their wrist and then extend their finger. Don't do that though. Keep your fingers, keep the wrist in and your palm close to the guitar and curve the fingers. Um, curving the fingers not so hard with three and one but this four and two here especially in first position it's a little bit tough. Uh, the main tip I want to point out is just to make sure you have finger curvature in each of these. So don't let, don't let it overextend like that. I have pretty small hands, so I'm just on the verge of overextending, but it's still curved in, in all these knuckles here. So play on your fingertips with curvature in each joint of your finger. So three, one, four, two. This is on the fifth and second string, by the way. But three, one, Four two, one three, two four, one three, four two, three one. First position being the hardest, and then it gets a little bit easier as you progress upwards. So keep that wrist line, keep curvature in your fingers, knuckles generally parallel with the strings, and then you just progress up and down. Also be careful to not um, do different hand motions for every single position. So, one hand position, move the fingers to get the next one, move the fingers to get the next one. Don't do this where you have like one hand position for here, and then a completely different one for there, and then a really different one for there. You know, you're changing hand positions all around, all over the place. One hand position, and let all the fingers, let the fingers do all the movement instead of um, changing your hand around. In terms of the right hand, just thumb on the bottom notes and alternating fingers on the top notes. So it's a great extension from the previous exercises and um, a, a good kind of challenge to keep on your fingertips and curve your fingers.
So, I hope you enjoyed that lesson. Next week we'll be looking at the Lobos prelude number four. And um, you can pick up Scott Tennant's book through the link in the YouTube info section or on the website. And subscribe to the channel for more free lessons every week. Thanks.